Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're attacking Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification off the channel so you don't miss out on the next episode of Riviera de Montaigne, a Quebec theme city. And make sure to hit the like button. The like button helps the channel a lot. We're starting out here today, which is uh, a bit of our little rural communities. You see Plateau off in, in the distance there on the right and Riviera de Montaigne, the, the downtown over on the left. Um, we are starting out this way because we're going to build another little community on this side of the river um, In hopes that we're gonna boost our population up just enough to get to the next milestone and then we will buy the next tile which we're uh, Probably going to buy the tile out this way over at the end of the city So uh, the idea today is we're gonna try to build another small community like a, a suburb type But also like a fishing community along the river here We're gonna use these uh, or this this area down here to build um, as much as possible while still respecting the train and everything like that and then I also want to add in another little farm out this way because I was and that's what that's what we'll, we'll start with today because I was looking at this and we are still importing some crops so I just want to add in a little bit more to the area um, and as you see there's still a lot of resources that we can use so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to continue this road and we're just going to have a second little farm here. So let's start off with that today. All right, so uh, let's go with the industrial road. We're just going to bring it out just a bit farther. Let's say, yeah, that works. And then I also want to bring it into the main road here, which I think could probably use a bit of an upgrade, to be honest. All right, next thing, we're going to take a dirt road and we're just going to bring it pretty far. Let's just look at the topography here because I don't want to go too, too crazy. Yeah, that works with me. And I think we'll be at the proper area for our, re our resources. But uh, just to make things a bit easier on us, I'm just going to smooth out the terrain first around the road. All right. So let's open up the farming tab. And I think we'll, we're still in the district. Uh, industrial there we go so I'm just gonna continue this one out and I will just uh, include all of that all right so Lafleur farm has moved a little bit um, and we are just going to grab the medium size I don't think we need anything more than that yeah we're, so we're still producing 8,000 units that's good if we're still producing 8,000 units up here I think I'm just gonna place it up here nice yeah, that's probably pretty good. And you know what? Just to kind of spice things up a little bit, I might place uh, another one right beside it. Yep, that works. And um, just to keep the theme going, um, I'm going to look at adding in some more of these buildings. Well, first of all, we don't need that road. Um, perhaps a farmhand house right here. And probably need some more crop silos, won't we? So we will add in one right there as well all right and then just to keep uh, going with what we've kind of done before is we're gonna make a little house right here and wait for that to pop up and uh, yeah that's the thing with having these 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 family farms is uh, sometimes the citizens get sick because they're kind of like industrial um, and that has pollution so that might actually be a bit of an issue we might actually need to bring in a clinic uh, somewhere closer which I believe the closest one is over there yeah so we might just have to get a rural hospital up this way which is totally fine um, it might actually help improve the area altogether but let's see if I place it over this way will it still affect now I would need to be a bit closer that's fine why don't we place it right here Yeah, and there we go. We got a house. That's a good house for this area. So I'm just gonna make that historical building so it doesn't change. And hopefully, with that, um, all right. I'm just gonna let this go for a little while because I just want to make sure uh, that everything is good. But we are not spending that much money on importing crops, which is nice. So we're, we're still making a lot of money. Um, all right. So let's get into the meat of the, the episode. We're gonna continue this kind of fishing uh, area, and we're going to um, make a little fishing community. So if we take a quick peek at the fish itself, we don't really have that much going on. 
So we could definitely get a couple more in. We could even get a salmon fishing area over here. Um, so why don't we look at that first of all? Um, because I think we've unlocked everything now. Yeah, except for the, the farms, which we're not going to do in this area. So we definitely don't need the tuna fishing. Shellfish, for sure. And salmon, but we're looking... Yeah, salmon. So the thing about this is I think we might need to change things up a bit. Yeah, I think we might need to delete these lines. So I'm going to pause the game. I'm just going to redraw them a bit. I'm not going to delete the original fishing harbors, but I'm just going to redraw their lines, especially with the salmon fishing harbor coming in right beside it. So I'm just trying to pull this down as far as possible. Yeah, that works. And then we need the shellfish harbor as well, which can probably go over here. But why don't we put it beside it? Uh, this side probably works. All right, let's just use this tool. Oh, let's just make sure. Shellfish, nice. Yep. Uh, come on. There we go. I'll use move it to kind of move these into a better place. So I'm just going to select the building. Yep, that works with me. And then I'm going to select this one and I'm just going to rotate it. All right, and then um, if you're lucky enough to have this, uh, the touch this mod, um, all you need to do is go on these fishing harbors and touch the roads, and then just close it out. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to upgrade the road to something a bit different. So right now we're using the industrial road. There we go. I'm just going to back this road up a bit farther. And I think we would actually need to upgrade this one to this road. Uh, since we're building up this community a bit. Um, Alright, so let's now grab the industrial road again. And we are just going to curve it back together. And then same thing over here. Connect that up. Alright, so this one probably won't... Ah, you know what? I think we can get this to, to run beside this. Let's go ground level click home just to make sure that everything is okay and uh, I'm just gonna leave this road right here because I'm not sure how we're gonna do this um, I've been going back and forth on what we're gonna do with this island and I'm kind of gunning for theme park but I don't know if that's the right idea for this kind of area so it might be a bit of a nature reserve um, kind of island like maybe a protected uh, nature area so maybe not too many paths through it, but um, I think that's a bit more realistic for the, the area. Um, Alright, so let's look at this. So this is kind of like our main intersection on this little town. And it's pretty darn loud, isn't it? So what I'm thinking of doing is creating a district. So let's just do this. And we're going to be making the fishing harbor, or the fishing town. And I'm just going to include this area up here because I'm planning on building up this way a bit as well. And we will include this town as well. But I don't think we're going to go uh, much farther than that. Um, this way, I'm not sure how far we're going to get. Uh, it gets a bit more steep over this way and closer to the rail tracks. So um, hopefully we can just work with this. And we will include this area over here as well. All right, so it's the town of Franklin. Uh, that's fine. We'll leave it for now. Um, and I think the first things first is we need to assign this district a couple things. So I want to get this district to be farming. Oh crap, did I make the wrong district? 
Yeah, I made this something else, didn't I? Oops. All right, so let's uh, let's sort of delete this and go from there. What is it? It's, oh, there we go. And normal district. There we go. All right, so we're just going to include this again on this side of the tracks. And shrink that down. All right, we will stick with this for now. All right, the Cedar Square. So that is going to change. Um, but let's get what we're going for. So farming industry I want in this area. Um, I feel like these would be better industrial buildings. Um, if we're going to get any industrial buildings, one, because the farm's right over here, and two, with the fishing over here, I think it makes a bit of sense. And then we're also going to get organic and local produce out this way. All right, so um, let's start off with a bit of commercial over here. Let's go with commercial right along this area together. Um, and I don't want too big of buildings here, so that's why I'm only sticking with those. And then right here in the corner, uh, we're gonna go with some industrial buildings. And we'll kind of let that pop up. I don't want to go too, too far either. Um, and then how about let's go with some commercial right through here. These ones will be a bit bigger. Um, all right, so that's kind of like gonna be the basic little grid here And I'm not gonna do too too much with this space. I kind of want to leave it open Maybe throw a few piers on it later on, but uh, let's get Well, we already have a clinic over there. I wonder if it is gonna be enough. So I'm gonna leave that for now However, I do want to get this church in And I think right here would be a perfect spot So we're gonna look at building this town a bit more up here and I'm just gonna use move it to readjust it there we go we've used this one before but um, it's very nice I think it's a perfect uh, little asset for a community for a small community at least all right so uh, I think we're gonna have to switch this road around as well so just preemptively for traffic we're going to switch this to an asymmetrical road Yeah, that works all right so we have that we need a firehouse for sure um, we're gonna stick this one down here and do we need a police station mm, I think I'll probably be fine with that one but definitely a firehouse yeah all right um, so let's look at getting in some side streets and some residential so I think I might try to drag a street from right here beside it and we're gonna go with uh, dirt roads for this little town so like that and then go right beside it like this hmm I think I'm gonna have to actually lift this up. I don't know why it was kind of so close to the ground, but let's try to get it to the same height as the rail line. And then from here, we will make it a bit of a smooth slope. Yeah, I think that's probably good. I don't think it needs to go any farther. All right, and then from here, I think we can get a road up from there and just straight across yeah that'll work Let's connect those two up and hmm. see I just don't know how far I really want to go with this because we have this huge shoreline, which we can't, it's really hard to get across because of the way the rail is. So in a way, the only really way to get across would be to bridge it or tunnel it, right? 
Um, and if we are going to do that, I want to connect it up to a main road here. So I'm thinking this one might be a good spot, but that's really tight. So, and this is already a really busy intersection. But I think it might have to be this one. So I think if we are going to do this, uh, I think a bridge in this situation. So we're going to take this and we are going to go from here, straight road, elevated. Let's go to seven. Oh, didn't elevate it. That's fine. And then we are going to have a nice curve down. I think I'll probably need to raise this up a bit. Yep, that works. And then this is definitely going to have to be an elevated road. Oh, I'm going to move it. Silly me. There we go. So I know we did delete pretty important building there, but um, that's okay. Uh, then let's also make this part uh, an asymmetrical road because I am a bit worried about the traffic down there. So preemptively, let's just do a bit of this. There we go. Let's put yield there. So it's yield on everything. Um, and then I want just a, a standard left turn. All right. So that's a pretty heavy intersection. So I'm curious to see how that's going to play out. And it's a bit steep over there, but um, nothing else I can really do with that. I'm able to raise this up ever so slightly, but um, and then from here, we are just going to make this a smooth slope down. There we go. So I don't think we really need the asymmetrical road on the side. So it kind of just starts at the bridge there, which is fine. Um, all right. So now that we have that in place, I think we can just get one more little small. Uh, oh, don't look for the dirt road. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. And straight road. I think that's probably going to work. And then this way we can look at potentially in the future. Uh, you know what? Why don't we do that right now? Um, let's just redo this little part. And I think we're going to go with the industrial road again. And we're just going to bring it up to about here. Oh, this is an industrial road. All right. And then let's bring this dirt road and connect up to that. And then from here, we're going to stick with the, uh, the dirt road and just kind of manage to sneak under the bridge here. All right. So when we deal with the island, um, we will use this entrance kind of way for uh, the um, for this area so at least we have a connection over here now which is gonna be good for traffic coming down this way as well because they have a bit of an easier way to get in as well all right so now that we can we have this like we can start zoning this area so I want residential all through here um, I don't know how many houses I really want over here uh, but this way I want houses. I want this to have a bit of a fishing community feel. Uh, let's get some there. And we'll stop right here uh, to deal with that area at a later date. And we could also get some houses along the waterfront here, which are which could be interesting to do. Um, However, let's just focus on getting houses right in here. Uh, let's break that right there. And let's break that. 
All right, so I think we can get some houses along this part too. Get it a bit more of a town feel. Uh, let's get commercial building there, here. Let's uh, let's start the, the the game up again. Yeah, see, I'm kind of curious about how I want to do this. Um, because I think it'd be cool to have a house on this little island here and then have like a pier beside it. So why don't we try doing that? Let's see how it looks. Let that house come in and then we will kind of try it out. But we need to get the fishing uh, hooked back up. So let's do that. So let's pull that up. We'll go with this. Um, I think this was the salmon. So let's get that out to the salmon. Make sure we're not hitting any. There we go. This is going to come out this way. Just, I know there's a specific distance you can get, which gets it to 100%, but uh, I don't really mind kind of doing it haphazard, haphazardly uh, right now. Um, this one's just going to come out this way. And back in. And this one is the shellfish, I believe. So we're going to make sure it stays in the yellow. And we didn't change that one up. All right. So now that we've that in place, let's get some water out here. And we're going to need water out this way as well. There we go. So a lot of traffic coming in this way. I, I believe it's probably because of everyone moving in this way. Because this is just like a big surge. Interesting. Okay, so we'll let that kind of go. And Cedar Square is kind of building up over here as well. Um, all right, so that's not the kind of house I was hoping for along the water, but um, you know what? I don't think it looks that bad. Um, let's look at the piers. Sorry, I know that there's these new little assets in. I'm just not sure where they are. The Rhine Pier. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. And there's this one as well. So I was hoping that with this in place, we could kind of put them beside, just like this, and then we'll just move it. Um, so let's grab that, and we'll place it right here, and then we'll lower it into the ground. Not that far. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Why don't we try doing another one? Uh, let's go here and we'll get a house right there. Right here. Oh, the house got removed. Interesting, okay, so it's probably because this got too close. There we go. All right, so we'll let this come back in and then we'll look at it at a later date and what is this? Low fishing route efficiency. Interesting. Okay, so that means we need to increase this one. Never seen that actually. Um, all right, so let's put that back on. And we'll kind of cut this route off right here. And restart it. We'll get it to go that way. All right. Hopefully that uh, fixes it because that's a lot more. Unless, yeah, that's shellfish. Okay. Um, all right. So let's continue out zoning out this way a bit. Um, I think if we stick with low density residential all the way along here. I think it'll be fine. And we're definitely going to need to get some schools out this way as well.
Yeah, I'm not sure how far I really want to go with this because there's also um, this cargo uh, hub to deal with as well. But we'll let that kind of go and, uh, you know, I'm not even sure if school is really necessary over here. Perhaps we can get a little road right off of this. And click home. Yeah, and then we'll get the elementary school over here. I'm not going to do a high school. Um, I think an elementary school is going to be enough for this little area. And let's smooth it out. All right, and let's get a park as well because uh, we all know we need parks beside elementary schools. Why don't we get another little park here as well? Ooh, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Uh, that's okay. I think that one will be fine. And let's get some more residential out this way as well. All right, this community came uh, came up pretty good, didn't it? Um, all right, so this pier is a bit interesting. I thought it would be a bit easier to clip in, but it looks like it has a pretty big hitbox. So that's a bit unfortunate, but um, how is the other one? Um, why don't we try Place it there. And what the heck is this? It is such a huge hitbox. Alright, well, I don't really like that. <laughs> and I think these houses are kind of taking away from the, uh, the shoreline kind of vibe that we're going for. So I think we'll just have to kind of deal with with that, I think maybe a couple. Oh, I forgot to dezone that. Uh, I think maybe a couple of the normal park piers would kind of work. Um, how about this one? And we'll just straighten it up and lower it. Yeah, that looks nice. And then I believe there's also some piers out this way we could use. A restaurant pier. That could be cool. So the thing about building on a shoreline is you definitely need to move it. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, so we'll go right there and we'll lower it down. Be a bit of a seafood restaurant maybe. An Italian seafood restaurant. Um, all right, so that's kind of the fishing community of Cedar Square. Um, I think we can do a bit more with it still, which is probably a good idea. So let's get some residential along this way. I'll just help fill in the spaces. Not as big of a population boost as I was hoping, but um, of course it is just low density. So I don't know what I was really expecting. But uh, yeah, let's just get some residential out this way and then we will kind of cut it off once we get to the, uh, the farm. Uh, let's take those out. And uh, yeah, so uh, next episode, I think we're going to continue this push for our residential boom. Alright, and then right here, let's, um, what am I doing? Let's get a pathway, and we'll just connect up like that. And then how about we uh, put a bit of a crosswalk in? There we go. So that's gonna, oh, we need water out this way. So that's going to improve the uh, residential or housing out in this area and um, with that hopefully that kind of improves the jobs out this way and I think it gives a cool vibe along the waterfront at least um, perhaps we can add in a bit more of these 
uh, waterfront piers and stuff as well as the time comes. But um, traffic sure is an issue now, isn't it? Wow. This uh, escalated pretty quickly. Um, anyways, I'll try to deal with a bit of it off camera to find out what the issue is. And then I'll talk to you tomorrow in the next episode of Rebrady Motang, a Quebec-themed city. So I hope you have a great day, everyone. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace out.